All right. Okay, good, good. All right, everybody who just uh, entered into the uh, online, right? Zoom, just check the attendance here. Some Zoom. Mm. Uh, today class may be final call, right? <laughs> for online. Just because for this week, we're going to have like um, OPEC, um, it's not OPEC, APEC, right? APEC meeting, right? National OPEC meeting, international one. So meaning that uh, some of classes may run the online. So I think that it should be the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, just check the attendant right now. Attendant check. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 plus 20, 40, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Forty three student. Mm -hmm. Good. Just waiting for your friend first. Okay, if you're ready, just type one for me, please. One, one, just because today we're gonna have to uh, do mock test, maybe mock for a final exam, right? Listening comprehension for t uh, 100 items, 100 questions here, and then uh, tip and strategy for reading, right? Just because you have to handle the test in time. And then, um for the before final right next week next week we are going to do the so next week we are going to do class reflection and then review all of lessons that we are going to uh see for the uh, final exam right and final exam is on site so just make sure that you uh, at the university campus on that day, right? All right, shall we start to listen for the test? <laughs> I think it's time for you, right? Okay, full listening test here. Attention. Mm -hmm. I think I will go pair prison today. Oh, really? Okay, good. So sorry for that. Um, so we have to, okay, wait a second. You can share your screen here. Yep, good. All right, so everybody, everybody can listen for your friend here. One, two, three, go, go. Good morning, everyone. Today, our group will present about the punctuation. First, let me start with what is punctuation. Punctuation is the system of symbol that we use to separate written sentence and part of sentence and to make their meaning clear. It's symbol called a punctuation mark. Next, over to you, Fong.
the punctuation style. There are a few distinct different between British punctuation, increasing called logical punctuation and American punctuation. In British, tend to use more open punctuation for abbreviation. British will use Mr. Mrs. But American will use Mr. Full Stop, Mrs. Full Stop. And the blanket symbol are called British will call bracket and American will call parenthesis. And the square bracket symbol, British will call square bracket and American will call brackets. Punctuation marks. The first one is full stop or period. A full stop is used at the end of a sentence. For example, I like English, I like you. Next is comma. A comma in writing is like a pause inside a sentence when speaking. Commas have no meaning, but they help us to see the structure and therefore the meaning of the sentence. For example, I speak English, French, and Thai. Next is semicolon. Sometimes semicolon is used instead of a full stop to separate sentences that are grammatically independent but have closely connect meaning. For example, I don't often go swimming. I prefer to play tennis. Next, please. Colon is a symbol to introduce. Introduce a list, a single item, direct speech, or a quotation and explanation. For example, you have two choices, finish the work today or lose the contract. Next one is a hyphen. It's used to join words to show that their meaning are linked in some way. In example, this is a rather out of date book. Next one is a dash. It's a horizontal line that shows a part or break in meaning or represent missing words or letters. Example, in each town, London, Paris, alone, we stay in youth hostels. Next one is question mark. It's used to indicate a question or query. For example, where is the toilet? An exclamation mark. It usually shows strong feelings such as surprise, anger, or joy. For example, help, she high, I can swim. Next is the slash, or also known as forward slash, stroke, or oblique, often used to indicate or. For example, please pet your browser's refresh reload button. Next is the backslash, is used in several computer systems and in many programming languages. It is commonly seen in Windows computer. For example, C colon backslash files backslash jo dot doc. Quotation mark. We use that to mark or to show the beginning and the end of the word. That's so special. Example, I love you, she said. For Sophie, we use a to possessive form or contact form. Example, this is John Carr and the underline. In type writing, we can use underline to show emphasis or also thing like title, book, theme, or name of ship. Example, have you read Harry Potter? And underscore, we we use in the email loud bucket and square bucket to emphasize the word and ellipsis mark. We use to <coughs> to mark consider the t dot. We use two missing words and omit one or more words for the original text. Next. Okay, the last session of presentation today, we have five questions for you guys. You can type your answer or say out loud. The question number one, full stop are also called A, periods, B, ending, C, points. A, 
A. And the answer is A is correct. And question number two, which cannot come at the end of a sentence, A, a period, B, a colon, C, an exclamation mark, B. Yes, B, a colon. Question number three, you must put a space, dot, 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 every comma in a sentence, A, before, B, around, C, after. After. C. Yes, correct. Question number four. Quotation mark, I put dot, 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 the words being quoted. A, before, B, after, C, before and after. C. Yes, correct. And the last question, which can be used to explain strong feeling in written English? A, an exclamation mark, B, a quotation mark, C, a backslash, A. Yes, colleagues, the answer is A, an exclamation mark. Thank you everyone, that's it all. All right, thank you for a good presentation. Just make sure that you send the PDF file into the live group. And all right, um, I'm going to say that, okay, done for all of our presentation and then group presentation here, right? Uh, what you need to do is that just make sure that you submit the PDF file into the Google uh, Classroom, just because I'm gonna check before we, uh, we meet for a mid final exam, right? <laughs> Uh -huh. And to those of you who just want to exempt for this course, we're going to have like a time until 25 of November, Friday 25, right? Um, I'm going to be flexible a bit, maybe 26 or 20, uh, 26 to 27, just because we're going to have like 28 of um, November for final, final exam, right? If you wish to submit the exam report, right, uh, for this course, just make sure that you do before the final exam begins. That's it. Mm -hmm. All right, so shall we start to listen for the test here? All right, one, two, three, go. Part one, directions. In part one of the test, you will be shown six photographs and hear four statements about each photograph. The statements will be marked A, B, C, and D. All statements will be spoken only once and not written down. For each photograph, Choose the statement that accurately describes what can be seen in the photograph. Look at a sample photograph. Listen to the four statements. A. The ship is very modern. B. Passengers are boarding the ship. C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. D. People are having a party on a boat. Statement C. Palm trees are planted along the waterfront. Is the most accurate description of what can be seen in the photograph. Therefore, you should mark your answer choice C. This part will now start with question one. Select your answers as you listen. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. Cyclists are riding by a fountain. 
B. There's a park bench beside a path. C. A man is hanging a map on a sign. D. Workers are raking leaves into piles. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. She's drinking water from a glass. B. She's removing papers from a file. C. Potted plants are arranged on a desk. D. Some pictures have been hung next to a window. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. A man is paying for his dinner. B. A server is taking food out of a container. C. Some windows are being cleaned. D. Some food is on display. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A building is under construction. B. A street is being paved. C. Some cars are stopped at a traffic light. D. Some cars are parked side by side. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Some equipment is being put in a crate. B. Some cords are lying across the top of a counter. C. A man is plugging a computer into a power outlet. D. A man is sliding a box under a workstation. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A stairway is divided by a handrail. B. A woman is leaning against a column. C. The people are walking up a staircase. D. Some photographs are being removed from a wall. Part 2. Directions. In Part 2 of the test. You will listen to 25 questions, each followed by three potential responses. The responses will be marked A, B and C. All questions and responses will be spoken only once and not written down. For each question, choose the response that accurately answers it. This part will now start with question 7. Select your answers as you listen. Number seven. Who is your immediate supervisor? A. Okay, I'll go now. B. It's Ms. Tanaka. C. Instructions for the project. Number eight. Aren't you attending the manager's training session? A. No, it was cancelled. B. The train arrives at noon. C. My manager. Number nine. When will you finish editing the final draft of my article? A. Yes, I think so. B. At the publishers. C. By Friday evening. Number ten. Are you still receiving an error message on your computer screen? A. A used monitor. B. Yes, do you know why? C. I've returned mine. Number 11. Will the seminar be a full day or a half day? A. I haven't received the schedule yet. B. The third door on the left. C. Why was it moved? Number 12. Where's the nearest currency exchange office? A. Not currently. 
B. Right next to the mall. C. Would you like a receipt? Number 13. Which file cabinet did you reorganize? A. Sure, I can send it to you. B. In numerical order. C. The one by the window. Number 14. How late shall we schedule the interviews tomorrow? A. Well, my flight leaves at 3 o'clock. B. For the office assistant position. C. Yes, the view at night is beautiful. Number 15. Isn't the supermarket closed on Sundays? A. No, it's open every day. B. I live close by. C. From the top shelf. Number 16. Who was at the press conference? A. Ricardo has the attendance sheet. B. Only once a quarter. C. A new product release. Number 17. Why are we moving the camera display? A. They like taking pictures. B. Near the main entrance. C. Doesn't it look better here? Number 18. Let's look at some colors to paint the hotel lobby. A. A larger painting crew. B. Sure, I'm free after lunch. C. The front desk. Number 19. The food here isn't usually this salty. A. The lunch special includes soup. B. It's not very crowded. C. I wonder if there's a new chef. Number 20. Shouldn't we take a staff poll next week? A. We need a decision before then. B. It already has. C. A revised work schedule. Number 21. Would you like a room on the first floor or one of the upper floors? A. It's just around the corner. B. I like the floor plan. C. Either one is fine. Number 22. Don't forget to post this notice on the bulletin board. A. The post office in the city. B. Don't worry, I won't. C. I noticed that too. Number 23. There were more people at the trade show this year, weren't there? A. An additional session. B. No, I won't be able to come. C. Yes, it was a big success. Number 24. I think the longer coat would be more practical. A. The men's section is upstairs. B. Then that's the one I'll buy. C. No, I can't wait any longer. Number 25. Do we need a standard-sized window or a custom-made one? A. Yes, only for a small fee. B. Here are the measurements. C. Carlos said he would. Number 26. How did you decide where to go on holiday? A. I researched places on the internet. B. Usually by bus. C. No, we're flying there. Number 27. Why hasn't this order been filled yet? A. 
It'll be ready to ship this afternoon. B. Yes, it is a large box. C. Thanks, but that's enough. Number 28. We still need to put price labels on the new books. A. The lines are really long. B. The table costs $60. C. Let me go and get them. Number 29. You should present your research data at the next department meeting. A. No, I didn't. B. I'd be happy to. C. In the database. Number 30. It's time for a break, isn't it? A. Well, they're too fragile to ship. B. Some afternoon appointments. C. Now let's finish up this proposal. Number 31. Have you ever had the opportunity to travel to Singapore? A. That's where I was born. B. Some travel receipts are missing from the folder. C. Yes, I'll have a little more. Thanks. Part 3. Directions. In part three of the test, you will listen to 13 conversations. Every conversation will be followed by three questions about it. Each question will have four answer choices marked A, B, C and D. Each conversation will be spoken only once and not written out. For each question, Choose the answer choice that accurately answers it. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Neil Chen. I just made an online reservation at your hotel, but when I saw the confirmation page, I realized that I'd made a mistake in the dates. Can I make a change? I'll be happy to change your reservation, provided we have a room available. Could you please give me your confirmation code? Sure, it's VF732. I want the reservation for the following weekend, January 10th through 12th. Will the price be the same? Let me see. Yes, we do have a room available for that weekend at the same rate. So I've changed your booking with us. You can expect an updated confirmation in your email shortly. Number 32. Where does the woman most likely work? Number 33. Why is the man calling? Number 34. What will the woman email the man? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Good morning, Mr. Lin. We have a package for you to pick up here at the Morseville Post Office. You should have received a missed delivery card when we tried to deliver it a week ago. I'm looking through my mail now, and I can't find any notice about a missed delivery. I just got back from vacation. Oh, I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Just be sure to bring along some form of photo identification when you come to pick your package up. Number 35. Who most likely is the woman? Number 36. What does the man say he cannot find? Number 37. What does the woman ask the man to bring with him? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, I saw the flyer posted in the window of your gallery advertising art classes. 
I wondered if I could sign up for the watercolor painting class on Tuesday evening. Sorry, but the classroom is too small to accommodate more than a few people, and that class is already full. Oh, that's disappointing. Is there any chance you'll offer a second class? Yes, we're thinking about holding one on Wednesday night also. Would you like me to put your name down on the waiting list? Number 38. What does the woman want to do at the art gallery? Number 39. What problem does the man mention? Number 40. What does the man offer to do for the woman? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Ms. Miller. It's Hector Diaz calling from Jackson Real Estate. An apartment has just been listed that I think you might be interested in. It's a one-bedroom place that's available immediately, but best of all, it's near Fulbright Park. Near Fulbright Park? Oh, that's wonderful news. The park is very close to my office. That's exactly what I'd hoped for. Would you like to look at the apartment? We can get in to see it sometime tomorrow if you're free. I'm busy in the morning, but the afternoon would be fine. Let me write down where it is and I can meet you there. Number 41. What type of business does the man work for? Number 42. Why is the woman pleased? Number 43. What does the woman plan to do tomorrow afternoon? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Ms. Kim, I finished setting up the table, so it looks like we're all ready to open the cafe at 8 o'clock. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Yes. Someone from the city maintenance department called yesterday and told me that a crew will be repairing the pavement right outside the cafe today. I'm worried that customers won't know we're open and we can't afford to lose the business. Well, why don't I put a sign out front that tells customers we're open and that they can come in through the side entrance? Number 44. What does the woman say will happen today? Number 45. What is the woman worried about? Number 46. What does the man offer to do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Thank you for taking me to that wonderful concert. It was a nice way to celebrate the merger of our companies. We knew you'd enjoy it. That string quartet performs all over the world. I'm not surprised. So, my flight doesn't leave until noon. Should I come by your office in the morning to finish up the paperwork? Oh, Ms. Yamada is handling that. Yes, I am. I'll be in the office by 8 in the morning, so you can stop by any time after that. There are only a few final documents to sign. Number 47. What are the speakers celebrating? Number 48. What does the man imply when he says, That string quartet performs all over the world? Number 49. What do the women agree to do in the morning?
Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. I don't know how I'm going to get through all the resumes that were submitted for the accountant positions we advertised. We received several hundred applications for three positions. That is a lot of applications. I can help you review some of them. Why don't I take half of them? That would be great. I don't have hard copies of them, though. The files are all saved on my computer. Okay. Do you think you can print the ones you want me to work on? I prefer to read through them on paper. Number 50. What are the speakers trying to do? Number 51. What does the man suggest? Number 52. What does the man ask the woman to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Rita. Thanks for taking a look at my car to see if it needs any work. I'd like to list it for sale by the end of the week because I need to buy a larger car. Well, I think buyers will really like the car because the exterior has been well maintained. However, I can see a few holes in the cloth on the front seat. I'd certainly recommend having that repaired. Okay. Do you know if it'll cost a lot to have new fabric put on the seat? I have a friend who does that kind of work, and he's very affordable. I'll look for his card so you can call him for an estimate. Number 53. Why is the man selling his car? Number 54. According to the woman, why will buyers like the car? Number 55. What will the woman most likely do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling from Burke Country Tours. We're interested in having some T-shirts made for our customers, and I saw your advertisement in the newspaper. Could you give me some information about your quantities and prices? Certainly. Shirts are $8 each, but if you order a lot of them, that is more than 50, you'll get a 15% discount off of the total price. That price seems reasonable. So we'd like to get our company logo printed on the shirts. Is that hard to do? No, it's actually really easy. Just go to our website, upload the image of your logo, and then place your order. Number 56. What does the man want to purchase? Number 57. How can the man receive a discount? Number 58. What does the woman tell the man to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Sorry to bother you, but I'm wondering if either of you remember someone named James Pullman? He worked here at the newspaper a few months ago. That name doesn't sound familiar. Why? Someone from Colby Media called today. James applied for a job there, and he listed our newspaper agency as his last place of employment. They asked for a recommendation, but... I never actually worked with him. James Pullman? I remember James. He was one of our staff photographers for about a year. He was very talented. Well, would you mind providing the recommendation then? Sure, I'd be happy to. But I wish he had contacted one of us directly. That's the usual procedure. Number 59. Where do the speakers work? Number 60. 
Why did Colby Media contact the speaker's workplace? Number 61. What does the woman imply when she says, I never actually worked with him? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and menu. Excuse me, are you ready to order lunch or are you waiting for someone else to arrive? Oh, I'm ready to order. I'm eating alone. I'm preparing for a meeting this afternoon and I need somewhere quiet to work. Of course. What would you like? I'm interested in the daily special. Can you tell me what it is? Today, it's a small cheese pizza and a beverage. Oh, I think that's what I'll get. And by the way, since I'll be working on my laptop here, can I have the password for the restaurant's wireless internet? Sure. It's on the back of the menu. Number 62. Why does the woman say she is at the restaurant? Number 63. Look at the graphic. How much will the woman pay for her menu item? Number 64. What does the man say is on the back of the menu? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and magazine cover. Let's talk about November's cover. This month's issue is about trends in smartphone technology, and we've selected our cover photo for that. Now, which story should be mentioned on the cover? Reiko is working on a story about teaching people how to develop their own applications for smartphones. Oh, that's a good angle. But do you think that's cover page material? It's got an educational theme, and she's interviewed people from many age groups for the story. I think it'll attract a lot of readers who don't normally buy our magazine. Good point. Let's put Reiko's headline just below the cover photo. Any ideas for which stories to put on the sides of the center photo? Number 65. According to the woman, what is the topic of this month's issue? Number 66. According to the man, why should Reiko's story be included on the cover? Number 67. Look at the graphic. Where will the title of Reiko's story be? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and floor plan. Excuse me, I bought some camping supplies earlier this year, and I was sure the store I bought them from was right here. Well, our store's just been at this location for a couple of months. The one that was here before, Amir's Outdoor Equipment, moved right next door. This shop was just too small for them. Thanks. The owner, Amir, is such a great guy. I can always trust his recommendations. I'm hoping to buy a tent from him today. Well, I know that today is his day off, but his daughter manages the store when he's not there. I'm sure she'll help you find what you're looking for. Number 68. What does the man ask the woman about? Number 69. Look at the graphic. Where does the woman work? Number 70. What does the woman say about Amir? Part 4. Directions. In part four of the test, 
you will listen to 10 talks. Every talk will be followed by three questions about it. Each question will have four answer choices, marked A, B, C and D. Each talk will be spoken only once and not written out. For each question, choose the answer choice that accurately answers it. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Mr. Dario. I'm calling from Leroy's Cake Shop about the cake you ordered. I'm really sorry, but we've made a mistake. We used the wrong filling for the cake. Instead of blueberries, we put raspberries in it. You have two choices. If you don't mind the different ingredients, we'll give you this cake for free. Or if you still want the cake with blueberry filling, we'll offer you a 30% discount and bake you a new cake by tomorrow. Please let us know what you decide. Number 71. Where does the caller work? Number 72. What problem does the caller describe? Number 73. What is the listener asked to do? Question 74 through 76 refer to the following announcement. I'd like to introduce our new branch manager, Ms. Susan Lee. One of Ms. Lee's priorities is to secure our position as the leading bank in our community. She hopes to accomplish this by providing affordable loans to local businesses to help them grow. I know you'd all like to find out more. We only have the room until 2 o'clock, but Ms. Lee will be starting work here full-time on Monday, so you can contact her any time after that. Number 74. What is the purpose of the announcement? Number 75. What does Ms. Lee plan to do? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when he says, We only have the room until 2 o'clock. Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. As the director of the city's parks department, I'd like to thank all of you for volunteering to plant flowers today here in Bailey's Park. I'd like to point out that the flowers you'll be planting were selected specifically because they are known to attract a lot of butterflies. The parks department has provided enough shovels and rakes for everyone, so please grab one and let's get to work. Number 77. Who most likely is the speaker? Number 78. What does the speaker say about butterflies? Number 79. What has been provided for the listeners? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Attention Blackstone Railways passengers. We have just installed a new automated ticketing system. The ticketing machines are located near the main entrance. The touch screens are quick and easy to use when purchasing your train tickets. And for your convenience, instructions on how to use the system are now available in a variety of languages, including English, Spanish, French, and Mandarin. If you need assistance with the ticketing machines, a Blackstone Railways representative can assist you. Number 80. Where most likely is this announcement being made? Number 81. What does the speaker say is now available?
Number 82. What is mentioned about the user instructions? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following broadcast. In business news, one of the world's largest manufacturers of aircraft engines, Quickstar, has been contracted to supply engines for the new SW-20 airplane. In order to be able to produce the large number of engines required by the contract, Quickstar is planning to open another manufacturing plant at the beginning of September. The new factory will be located in the city of Laxton. In a press conference earlier this morning, the mayor of Laxton expressed his enthusiasm for the opening of the facility, asserting that it will bring an estimated 300 skilled jobs to the community. Number 83. What does the business produce? Number 84. According to the speaker, what will the business do in September? Number 85. What does the mayor anticipate will happen in Laxton? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following instructions. We've talked about the minor repairs and upgrades you will be making at the museum. Now, let's turn our attention to the work you'll do monitoring the thermostats in each gallery. Environmental control is extremely important to the museum. If the temperature and humidity are not kept very stable, paintings, books, and sculptures can be damaged. Of course, that's the last thing we want. Now, your work checklists say that you only need to check each thermostat once a shift, but I look at least twice a shift, especially in the summer. You'd be surprised by how quickly things change. Number 86. What type of work are listeners training for? Number 87. What problem is the speaker hoping to avoid? Number 88. What does the speaker imply when she says, I look at least twice a shift. Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Franklin. It's Alicia. I just took a look at our taxi company's online ratings, and the results were pretty disappointing. Customers had complaints about a variety of things, but apparently the biggest issue seems to be that our drivers just aren't very friendly. Remember, everyone can see our ratings online. If we want to keep our company in the market, we need to address this. So I have an idea. Why don't we start giving a bonus to our taxi drivers who consistently receive high customer ratings? We could select a top performing employee each month. I think it'd be worth a try. Number 89. What aspect of the taxi business did most customers comment on? Number 90. What does the speaker mean when she says, Everyone can see our ratings online. Number 91. What does the speaker suggest? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a workshop. Welcome to this workshop on developing a business plan. Let's start with a simple explanation of what that is. A business plan is a statement that describes your goals and how you plan to achieve them. A well-written business plan makes a good impression, and this is important for getting financial support from people willing to invest in your company. 
Now, before we look at some examples of effective business plans, I'd like to go around and have each of you share your prior work experience with a group. Now, who would like to begin? Number 92. What is the topic of the workshop? Number 93. According to the speaker, why is it important to make a good first impression? Number 94. What does the speaker ask members of the group to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and schedule. Hi Leon, it's Hiroshi. I know you are planning to come with me to the yoga class at the fitness center, but I just checked the website and I see the class is canceled today. There's another class at the same time, so I'm going to take that one instead. Do you still want to come? And afterwards, I'm meeting a couple of our co-workers at Reynolds Cafe to see a jazz group perform. They're supposed to be excellent. Let me know if you'd like to join us, and I'll make a reservation for you. The group has won several awards, so I expect it'll be crowded. Talk to you later. Number 95. Look at the graphic. Which class does the speaker plan to take? Number 96. Why is the speaker going to Reynolds Cafe? Number 97. What does the speaker offer to do? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting and graph. Now, let's go over the sales data for our new dishwashers. After we ran our internet ad campaign in July, we saw an increase in sales in all provinces. However, I think that our best performing market for this dishwasher has even more potential than what we predicted. So I suggest we start direct mail advertising there next week to reach people who might not have seen our ad online. Helen from the marketing department is here to present some information about the mailing campaign. Number 98. What kind of products does the speaker's company sell? Number 99. Look at the graphic. In which province will the company begin a direct mail advertising campaign? Number 100. What will the listeners most likely do next? This is the end of the listening test. All right, all right, good, done, done. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Ah, there's something wrong here. Uh, shall we break for 15 minutes, right? And then we can start reading comprehension here. Yep, yep. What time is it right now? At 10 and 15. See you all at 10 and 15. That's all.
All right, hello, hello. Next up. Nah, I'll read the All right, shall we start for second half for today's class? It's all about um, reading comprehension, right? Okay, so just prepare all of you to be ready or well equipped with the final exam here. I'm going to say that what you need to see is that um, reading comprehension and uh, the tip and strategy here, right? Um, so for this one, um, yep. Um, for reading comprehension, um, I think what you need to do is that just um, focus and using some tip and strategy that can be applied to your, your test, right? Okay. So first of all, you, what you have to do is that just uh, glance by skimming or scanning the text first, just because for the first ones that um, this one, to all employees from Caroline, uh, personal director, January 5th, and then re, it means that the topic here, right? Oliver, retirement. Okay, so here, if you, you're using the, um, you know, skimming and scanning here, you can see like the topic sentence here, it talks about retirement. Okay, so it's all about retirement. So shall we look for the first question here? What is the purpose of this memo? A, to encourage some employees to retire early. <laughs> Is that right? Encourage. To announce retirement and job opening. Retirement here. To request prompt payment um, of all invoices. Request or not, or even to inform employees of um, working conditions. So basically for um, the main purpose of each question uh, in the reading comprehension, I'm going to suggest that you have to be focused and just freeze for the first keyword here. For example, here, to encourage or not. Checklist one and two, right? Uh -huh. To encourage or to announce, to request or even inform here. So here we can see like we got the main idea here from retirement. So the answer we go for B-boy. Everyone type B for me, please. Man pim dai me? Okay, good. Ah, I'm there. I'm down there. I'm going to A. I'm A. Ah, not that. I'm going to A. I'm I'm ready. I'm going to answer. I'm B boy. Just type B if you wish to get an A. That's it. Mm. All right. So again, right? Um, the main purpose is a common for a reading comprehension. It talks about the main idea here, right? Again, what you need to focus is that um, just focus on the main keyword. It's okay. Main keyword which mean that focus on main verb here, encourage, announce, request, or inform. So here, the answer we go for B-boy, just because we got retirement as a key. That's it. Moving to, um, so um, when you see this kind of text, right, is a lot of, um, you know, information given to the reading text, uh, reading text, sorry. And then the text um, imply that what you need to do is that um, um, just freeze the first paragraph, uh -huh. In each paragraph, you have to lock a uh, paragraph first and then try to identify uh -huh, what would be the correct answer here. Here we can see after career spanning, blah, 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 right? Just jump into the main keyword. We are asking all employees contribute 10. Uh -huh. Please personal office before January 15. Uh -huh. Follow the text here. Uh -huh. And then we're going to have interview with another applica applicant sorry, before until January 15, uh -huh. January 25. So you can see like the interval from 15 to 25, how many days here? So it's approximately um, 10 days, right? So we can say a week, a half and a week, that's it. Is that right? About one week, two weeks, three weeks, or even four weeks. Again, right? How much longer will the retirement process continue? How much longer? So what you need to do is that you have to see the date mentioned. Um, so dated, dated as mentioned here, January 5th, and then 
January 5th เขาจัดวันที่เท่าไหร่แบบหนึ่งครับอาจารย์เท่าดี right Uh, yeah, that's correct. So meaning that you have to you uh to put thirty minus five twenty four. Let's say three weeks. Is that right? Uh, the answer we go for three cat here about three weeks. Everyone type C for me, please. Uh, C come on, let C C. Good. Again, right? So the first question it talks about the main idea. So you have to be master for the main idea, just because if you want to get a good score from a reading test, I'm going to say that the main idea is a key for all of you. And the second one is that um, uh, detailed information. So uh, this one is kind of like you have to use um, a little bit critical thinking here, just because you have to see what information given and then try to. Choose the right answer here. That's it. Next, what will the personal director do in the new future? Personal director do in the new future, right? Again, uh -huh. retire from her job, receive from award, apply for the job, or even hire a new designer. So basically, uh, for the text, they are going to do the interview for new candidate for some position, right? So meaning here. Uh, so we can conclude here that um, they're going to hire someone new here, right? Retire, no, cross. Receive, no, cross. And then apply for a new job or even hire a new designer. So the answer we go for D dot here. That's it. Everyone type D, 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 D right? Uh, if you wish to get A, just type D. Uh, I get A, B, D. All right, uh, learn with fun and then you can get A, right? Again, right? This one, the first question is that announced, is that right? And second, three weeks, see cat here. And the last one be hire a new designer, that's all. Uh, this one for the single passage, right? So you can see that um, the main, main question for reading test is all about like the first question is the main idea and the rest are all about detailed information okay if you want to get a full score from the reading so you need to come up with um you know attentive to the detail right just because uh, lots of detail that we have to to get from the test here okay so second i'm going to let you read first you have to finish reading this one first right for one minute one right and the second reading is that here for one minute, I'm going to timing for all of you for two minutes. Just try to finish the idea from double email here first, and then we can go through the doors question type, right? For five, six, seven, eight here. Okay, timing two minutes here.
All right, so we start for uh, this passage, all right? Double email. Um, again, right, we can use um, screaming and scanning first just because uh, lots of detail here that you have to pick just only um, important detail, right? From vice president, New York, or branches manager, and then dated at January 2nd, pre-launch information for all the past product. So this one, it talks about um, product launch or release some product here, right? So you can get the main idea here first. Okay, C, next month of Seneca branches, bank branches will be launching D much anticipated auto money pass product right? launching something here a new product right and then the pass has the potential to become a flagship produce i'm sorry product in preparation of banking personal need to be familiarized with the terms and conditions of the auto money pass okay so um, the key important aspect for this um right for this for this passage or even for this email is that all of managers in any branches have to understand or be familiarized with the terms and conditions here, right? So we can see the detail here. A, clients must complete an application form. So the client must be com must complete this kind of uh, document first, UMP001, is that right? An initial deposit here, $250. Dollar must accompany to the couple, uh, application, meaning that you have uh, they have to to pay fee. Again, once you read this kind of text, some kind of text might be a little bit detailed and difficult to understand. What you need to do is that simplify, sorry, simplify those words into your own understanding, just because it might be easy for, you know, do the test here. B-Boy, two forms of current identification must accompany to a cup application, all right? This one is that um, you have to submit identification, right, to form. And an acceptable item includes a passport, driver license, other government issue, plus photo ID, right? So either one or two passport or driver license here can be applicable here for the identification check share, that's it. And next, um, there is a minimum passport, I'm sorry, personal income requirement at $45, right? Okay, $45,000 per month, and the document must be provided. So this one is, uh, it talks about salary requirement, is that right? Income requirement, things like that. Again, you can see from the first one is that a complete, complete um, application form, is that right? Identification number ID card, or even this kind of um, salary or statement of income, right? $45 here, that's it, one, two, three, checklist. And after that, freeze, once you freeze a sentence and got the idea here, try to see the, you know, below, um, you know, had, uh, content here, right? Uh, for example, here, managers will be kept inform need to be informed of any um amendment or changes is that right amendment here changes this one would be like um, um is a uh, i can say that is a, a little bit uh, academic writing text right so what you need to do is that you have to simplify those words into your own understanding by an uh, using an easy word, okay? In turn, uh, each manager is responsible for updating their staff immediately. Each brand is expected to accommodate any client who expresses an interest in becoming an outer money pass holder. So meaning that a manager should do what they, were, what, what they need to do here. The first one is that update, right? Update. And the second is that try to report those clients who are interested, right? Try to simplify again and again, just because um, it is very detailed, right? And all bank managers will submit a product evaluation to the product development group, blah, 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 by this one, March uh, 15, uh, March 5th, sorry. Okay, so we can see, once you finish from the reading one, right? Try to see the, uh, the possible question first. 
what was the purpose of why president memo? All right, so we got um, the main idea here. Just press, um, you know, launch a new product. Is that right? Announce the launch of the product. Criticize staff for their inefficiency. Request monthly staff evaluation, or even to remind managers about the meeting. So we got launching a new product. Is that right? So the answer we go for A. Type A for me, please. Ah, A A. Come on, lab. A O A O S E. Nah, lab. Ah, exam ka A. Nah, rien ka A A. Tukon. Moving to next one, right? What is not needed when applying for the product? So you can see from um, the detailed information from the text, right? Not mentioned. So we got here is that um, uh, complete a form, is that right? ID, identification, passport, or even what, what uh, you know, related document, or even statement of uh, income. Uh, personal identification, correct an application from correct proof of income proof of income salary statement correct but the def deposit here is not 45 dollar right so we can check the first one just only 250 so the wrong answer here would be d dot here everyone type d for me please ดีดีอ่ reading จะยากนิดหนึ่งนะต้องต้องช้าช้าหน่อย that's it อืม so we done for um question number four and five here so uh I can say that for this kind of question the first one it talks about purpose or even main idea right so you can get it if you uh, understand how to find the main idea in each paragraph. Second is that you have to, uh, you know, chart or even list the keyword here. Just because I see that um, this is a little bit tricky. So you can see like uh, the number here is found in the text, but you have to be careful with the right context here. That's it. Moving to second, um, second what? Second email right reply just because they sent to sorry they sent to all managers about press release here right from uh new york from a uh, white president here and then someone reply so we can see from the first uh, paragraph first right okay so first of all you have to use skimming and scanning again right okay from tony to manager right to manager tony to manager CC, the same topic here, and then they take uh, 5th March, uh, again, evaluation. So the subject here is quite different. Alter money pass, evaluation, is that right? Okay, good. As requested, please find touch our brand evaluation of the recently launched Andhra money pass. The Hong Kong brand has experienced the following issues. So uh, which one at Tony? working at Hong Kong. Is that right? Hong Kong, right? Okay, good. A, more than a few of our clients have backed out prior to a uh, completion of the application process. Most feel that the process is intrusive. So you can see this one is a little bit difficult um, vocabulary. I can say that intrusive here, it means it's not easy or even difficult, right? Okay. That is the reason that we have to expand our, um, you know, uh, synonym, right? Synonymous word here, just because intrusive in this context, meaning that it is challenging or even difficult. Yep. Uh, requiring excessive personal documentation, lots of documentation here. Simplify into your own word would be a key for reading comprehension. Okay. Linking card numbers to existing account at a proof and plug problematic right so it caused a problem here for linking card right and the last one is that some employees are not yet fam familiar enough with the product details to successfully complete the process okay so they are not really good or even uh, get to know much more about that product is that right 
Okay, and unfortunately, however, or but here, right? The sent of message uh, message to a client uh, is that un um sorry insufficient trend, meaning that they have they're gonna have like um you know more and more training to those stuff just because they're gonna be master in terms of um you know a new product line, right? However, but we support this product and a training seminar will be held this coming week. Our intent to reinforce the need to provide a high level of professionalism to what every client, Tony Hong Kong brand. So here, just because um, you can see from this one, right? They sent from New York to all branches manager. So we can infer from this kind of operation or business operation here, it is international company. Is that right? Just because they sent from New York to Hong Kong here. Yep. Moving to question. Why did Tony Anderson contact the manager of this product development A eh, to alert a manager to feel concerned? Alert. Do you think so? Yeah. And then withdraw support to a new product. Is that right or wrong? Request relocation to another brand. Suggest an alternative of the product. So the implication for uh, the Tony message is that tell something wrong. Is that right? So meaning that tell something wrong would be a keyword. Uh -huh. Alert to the manager that feel concerned. Concerns here, problems. Okay. So the answer will go for A. Everyone type A for me, please. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Okay, good. So the answer will go for again, right? Uh, by changing the application form, no, it's incorrect here. Um, delaying product release, delay, no, incorrect. Through additional staff training, this, this one is correct, right? Through offering staff in, incentive, money more, no, I don't think so. So the answer will go for C, C, C cut here, type C for me, please. Move, 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 just because this one is very a little bit detailed and a little bit challenging, right? What can be inferred about the Senegal Bank? So um, I just mentioned that um, it is an it is operating as international company just because they sent the email from the New York to Hong Kong, right? It is exclusive and online retailer. It is multinational corporation. It is outsourced of all its call centers. And then it has the highest interest rate. So we can see like which one is that international company. So, the close meaning here is that it is a multinational corporation. Everyone type BB for me, please. Happy B, come on, I have. That's correct. Mm. Good, good. Again, right? So what you need to come up with the reading test is that um, I think you have to use skimming and scanning first. Is that right? Screaming and scanning first, just because you have to get to the main idea or the topic sentence of the email. For example, for this one, as you can see, like a uh, launch product would be a keyword, right? And then you have to read the first, uh, the first sentence of each paragraph, just because you have to get the main idea. And after that, you have to read by skimming and scanning for a detail and then try to make relevant information into the question too, just because you have to put just only the right answer, okay? And then if for double email, you need to make a relationship between A to B 
email A, what is the purpose? And then email B, what is the purpose? And then try to, you know, make relevance, right? Or essential information, relationship, uh, compare between the two, A or B, things like that. Mm -hmm. So basically the email, it talks about a problem. So we can see for this one is that um, they just mentioned a problem there and then they suggested solution, what they are going to do for that, uh, for solving do those problems, right? Good. And for a tactic or even tip strategy for reading here, I can say that the first question, it talks about um, main idea, right? So if you got the main idea, you might not be misleading for those other questions too. And the second is that detailed information. Next one is uh, it, uh, it talks about why they do, right? Okay, the reason that um, Tony sent the email. And also this one is that how to solve this problem, uh, action plan or even problem solution here. And the last one, infer, it might be a little bit challenging, but I hope that if you understand the tech properly, you can see that which one would be the correct answer here. Yep. That's it for double email, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, you can see, you can practice your own, right? This one is uh, your homework. Just use tip and strategy or even tactic for reading test and then uh -huh, answer this kind of question. Being advertised type of, um, you know, text. Is that right? Not mention detailed information here. Mm -hmm. Main purpose, main idea. Is that right? Or if a lot of commercial when you're probably located, it should be like get a detailed information here. Mm -hmm. Not include detailed information, right? And then recent improvement have tapered made detailed information too. Happening that can't do that. Ah, okay, I'm going to let you read this one first just because we are we are closing to the final exam, right? And I think for your final exam um, is a lot of uh, tests and then for a TOEIC test, we can focus on reading, right? And I think this one is that um, double email. Okay, I'm going to timing for two minutes. You have to finish reading this first. Mm -hmm. All right, so shall we start finish reading test? Uh -huh, just because I think they have to prepare all of you to be more confident in the reading test here. To whom it may concern, right? And then I have trusted all proposed Googles, right? Made by Jennifer Hall versus LTD to protect our eyes in my employer. 
for um, sorry past 15 years right mm -hmm. so it um it is it has been operating for five 15 years so meaning that is a old comp uh, i mean like um, trusted for 15 years it's a lot right recently i purchased several pairs of um your heavy duty waiting to go for it, my crew Initially, my men were satisfied with this Google, right? Mm -hmm. But, so try to read for some kind of um, transition just because um, it lead your, your own understanding. And then, um, you know, those questions might be good for your uh, understanding too. I mean, like uh, to pick the right answer. Mm -hmm. Over the past couple of weeks, several issues has arisen. Firstly, a the lens in several pairs have cracked for no apparent reason. Uh -huh. Second, try to check the keyword here. Crack would be broken. Is that right? Broken something. Yep. And then secondly, the straight um straps are not straying in place at the shoot. Is broken again. As I'm sure you are aware, this can be a very dangerous situation when a when a vendor is holding a task, blah blah blah, right? So some some cause any um you know difficulty or even uh, something bad in this kind of using those equipment, blah blah blah, right? However, this particular Google simply do next provide safety level required by the crew. And please respond at your earliest convenience with instruction on how I can receive replacement for a full reason. So they require for money, right? In return, that's all. Some okay, again, try to summarize or simplify this kind of tech into your own understanding, right? The first one that I can catch from an idea here is that something wrong or something broken from the product given here, right? and they need a refund or money in return. Yeah. What was the purpose of Mr. in this letter? A, to place an order for more Googles, to complain about product quality, to apply for a recent job opening, or even to review one of their top products. Uh -huh. Something wrong, something broken. So they have to complain for product quality. Everyone type B for me, please. Mm. Moving to next question, what was being discussed in the letter? Faulty torches, right? Or if a new manufacturing standard, price or recent uh, Chipman and then waiting Googles. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. Wait a second. Okay, we can find the answer here. Um, this is a reply to send a customer on your behalf. Please keep this copy. Blah blah blah. Your complaints regarding to the poor quality of our heavy duty wedding Googles has to my attention. Is that right? Has brought to my attention. Please accept my sincerest apologies for any inconvenience this may have caused you and your crew. In addition to replacing the detective products, I have authorized to refund of 50% of the original invoice. Finally, I've been in contact with manufacturer and they are very eager to see the Google's in question and investigate these issues. So they try to solve this problem by, you know, giving a refund, right? 50% off. Mm -hmm. As a representative of the recent your office next Monday with a replacement of Google. So they can change or substitute with um, Google Share, right? And then got go uh, refund patronate patronate means um helping to each other right most important to our business thank you for your support blah 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 that's it so here we can see 
what is being discussed in the letter? Maybe one, two, three. D dot here. Everyone type D for me, please. 17 trends surprised most recent purchase. It was the most expensive product for sale. It was considered to be very heavy duty. It was the first time to be had the problem. C cut here, is that right? Mm -hmm. And then it was better than it has expected. What will company representative pick up? Refund, revise, complain, 40A, right? And then patronate, helping each other. Helping each other, what is that? One, two, three, financial support, that's it. Again, right, so for, 50, uh, for uh, question number 15, the answer we go for B, 16, D dot here, 17, C cut, 18, A. And then the last one is that, um, Financial support, be boy, and sit. All right, shall we move to the last session for today's class? Is that vocabulary recall? Mm -hmm. You can recall, review, and understand the vocabulary here, right? Prone to, exception, probably, permanent, predisposed, stability, traditionalism, intelligent, fascinating, and then awareness. Okay, you can feel free to finish. All right, moving to next is that pendant breaks brushless, right? Accessibility, influential, dependability, honestly, and then representative, right? Emanated, astrology, decorated. Mm -hmm. Responsible for your number here and type at least two synonyms. All right, navigation, uh -huh. uh, incredible, precariously, resourceful, procession, susceptible, affectionate, enhancement, eloquent, and then the last one is resonate, that's it. Mickey <laughs> song
All right, and the last one for today before we go. Um, so what you need to do is that for today's class is that you have to come up with a meaningful sentence based on given word here. You need to responsible just for your number here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six here. Break a habit. So some of these words may be uh, it, idiomatic expression. So meaning that you have to search the, in, you know, the, the word into the internet first and try to uh, create a meaningful sentence based on your own understanding, right? Break a habit, break a leg, break a promise, break a record, break a window, break someone hard, break the eyes, break the law, break the news to someone. And the last one is that break the rules. Mm -hmm. That's it. I think it's enough, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, um, thank you so much for your uh, participating for today's class. And I hope you guys get something here from reading comprehension and enjoy learning with me. Right? Okay, see you next week on site class. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for today's class. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.